Howdy folks, you good old slime farmer is back again. <laughs> I'm just joking, but anyways guys, welcome back to another episode of our hardcore let's play series in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Well in the last one we built a brand new iron farm, which I have been standing a lot of AFK in as you saw, and I also built the inside of our watchtowers, which honestly, it's starting to look pretty nice. But anyways guys, as I talked a decent amount about in the last one is that we, we are going to need a lot of wood for all, you know, our massive storage room, which is why we're also made a new iron farm because of, you know, hoppers and that, but we're going to need a lot of wood, and I mean a lot of wood. So as you see, today we are a little builder slime, or I guess farmer slime, as you see we have a little new outfit on. And that is because I want to head over to where we normally farm up our wood. Well, I guess, you know, make a little cabinet there so we can, you know, spend more time farming wood. So I have prepared up some resources as you see here, plus a little extra resources here, you know, with the two extra shirt boxes as a fridge. But anyways, you know, I don't really have much uh, to talk about or do, so let's just head over to the location. And yeah, you know, a farmer slime don't do very well in the nether, it's quite scary over here, but uh, let's get over to our location quickly. Okay guys, so if you don't know, we are in our industrial uh, district at the moment and the place where I normally farm wood is right over here and that is mainly because one it's far away from our from my base which means that which means that you know I don't uh, ruin any of the landscape in case I want to build over there and also I guess it's a lot of dark oak wood which I did need at uh, one point of time and I really needed a lot of saplings so if you didn't know this whole area right here was covered with uh, dark oak trees same with this area over here so I've been mining a lot of wood over here and this is basically where I have supplied my world with a lot of the dark oak I have so anyways if I quickly place out the shulk box again I want to build a little uh, wood cabinet on top of here pretty basic cabinet it's gonna be a really small one and yes I basically want to have a little cabinet over here a small pathway going down here and then basically this I will just you know cut down all these trees and it's gonna be the small type of cabinet that I can move in the future if I want to move it but uh, this little cabinet is basically where I'm gonna be living while I'm out here farming wood so yeah, I think that's gonna be really cool I have already built a design which is why I brought you know the amount of resources I did but I basically want to just continue mining down all this and in general all the wood that's maybe over here to just get as much type of wood as I need especially for chests so anyways let me let me just uh, start building my cabinet and yeah. Okay guys, so as the sun is falling down, I'm pretty much done with my little hut and it's looking really nice. Uh, so if we head inside, we don't really have much inside or can place a... Yeah, that there will look nice, maybe a lantern there. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna keep a lantern next to my bed in the corner. So we have a little bed right here, a little furnace, crafting table, and I guess a little shelter box, fridge, a little campfire, which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty nice house. I assume, oh, I might head, uh, head in and sleep before the zombies kill me. Ah, oh, there we go, what an amazing day. So anyways, I guess what I was gonna say is that I might use a few barrels uh, to store them down here where I can keep the wood I mine, because having to run a pair to place it in there would be annoying or whatever, but anyways, I might just get started on wood farming. I'm gonna need probably many, many double chests, uh, double chests full of wood just to be able to fully build this and finish this, but I guess that's gonna be whatever, it's gonna take some time, but you know what, I think it's gonna be worth it because soon we will be able to build our automatic storage system. So anyways, let me just farm up some wood and uh, yeah. <gasps> ah god damn it. Yeah okay there we go we fixed it so anyways let me just get started on the wood farming and yeah. Ah, oh, well, 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 guys, we have cleared quite a bit of the forest we have here, just in case I'm gonna kill this little guy, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a little time lapse of this into it, well, I don't can't really make a time lapse because bedrock is bedrock but i did take some screenshots using scaffolding so hopefully that should work but yes if you don't know pretty much all this was covered in trees and i've taken down quite a lot i also added a little windmill right here which i think it's looking pretty nice i think it really adds something and i guess this windmill could be uh, you know the thing that gives power to this house so yeah now i also added a small little pathway going down here and if we fly quite far up we have added a little pathway going all the way through we have also started clearing this area so if I land on top of here yeah I've started going into here I do want to clear out 
all this i might leave some of this here because i think it would be kind of nice to have at least some trees left but i want to continue clearing at least this part maybe reaching into the birch biome over here i also thought about going into the jungle kind of maybe either over here or this way but i'm not fully sure if i want to do that yet or not now to quickly show you i have gotten quite a lot of wood um i filled up all the barrels over here so i had to you know place a few down here so if we uh, check here we have quite a lot of uh, mostly dark oak decent amount of spruce too now we also have a lot of dark oak saplings which is going to be really nice for the future if we need them we have even more dark oak also some oak not dark oak and some normal oak i think i said that yeah and then even more right here we also have some birds some apples which is pretty nice and a lot of uh, saplings which is you know which is pretty nice guess i can put away my hoe i used the hoe to clear out some of the branches to take the screenshots but i guess i can say that went pretty well let's destroy this but yeah i'm liking this place a lot um at first i just had my little hut over here let's close the door but i decided to add a little pathway here because i think it just added a decent amount i do also want to add maybe a little uh, animal pond here so we can get some food while we're you know after farming but for now i think it's pretty pretty good now i also realized that our base is well not realized but our base is not too far that way i mean we we have our end, uh, no, our uh, one of the raid things over here. Our vacation house is just around the corner over there. So what we might do is, uh, you know, make a pathway from here back to our base. I would love to do that. I think that would be quite cool. But yeah, and also having a little quick uh, overview of this, it's quite insane to think about how much wood I have gotten from this area. This whole area right here was filled up with uh, with with dark oak trees, along with other trees, of course. But basically everything around here was covered with uh, trees, and it's quite insane how much I farmed up. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot we still have uh, in here, no, we have some more, uh, you know, oak right here, even more dark oak, so I think we should be good for all um, the wood we need. I did some math, I think I did the math right, so if I did the math right, I calculated that we're going to need about four double chests worth of wood, I think. That might be planks, but I'm not sure, for the storage system alone, so it's gonna cost a lot and it's gonna take quite a lot of time and be quite insanely expensive, but you know what, I think it's gonna be worth it, I think it's gonna be worth it and I think it's gonna be quite fun, so yeah. But anyways, guys, we might just to head back to base i don't really have much more to do over here i do want to start bringing this wood over but we are almost out of circuit boxes so i'm gonna have to do that off camera probably i also love when this update came out you have stuff like this because of how uh and half cut trees because of how i guess this chunk is newly rendered we'd have some chunks just render completely differently but yeah i guess that's all cool all cool hi right, guys well as i'm flying back to base so over here we have our vacation now switch honestly i spent i think three hours building it and i have not been over here more than enough well i'm not been over here enough i'm not sure what to say but i haven't been over here at all recently in the past like 20 episodes maybe not 20 but in the past like 15 episodes and it's a really nice house i mean i've been there once or twice off camera just you know enjoying the house and that sort of stuff thinking about expanding it making a basement and that over here but uh, yeah it's kind of sad how we don't spend much time over here but i guess this is minecraft it's game game so we don't really have that much you know free time to just well, i guess there is not much uh, valuable to do over here besides farming sand but yeah hmm you know what i'm back in my little basement i'm not sure if many of you know that this basement exists because i'm not down there much but i've thought about making a little secret uh, thing down here Hmm. Okay guys, do you notice anything different? Maybe some buttons around, do they do anything? No, what about this one? It does, so I made a little secret room going behind here and I obviously have a button going outwards but uh, I'm not fully sure what I want to do behind here. I might add the sewage way going in here from you know where our sewage is, sewage is currently. Maybe make a secret uh, torture dungeon or something nice like that. But yeah, I guess having a little nice hidden thing can be uh, quite nice if we want to do something there in the future. Can I remove that? Okay guys, so I guess this brings us to the next uh, part of this video. Just had to make sure I was recording and you see we are running out of shark boxes this one has stuff it has but yeah we are running out of uh, shark boxes and we still have a lot of them a decent amount of a decent amount of them will go into stuff like uh, especially the storage room and most of our shark boxes is currently just standing in random locations being used to hold resources that we will need to move in the future but we are in fact running out of shark boxes and they are really nice so i think what i might do now is head in uh, to a trip to the end 
and see if we can uh, find some more so yeah now we did do this a while ago i think that was up to 20 episodes ago so it has been a while and we have just for security i will bring uh, some extra food just put it in my ender chest but yeah we will have to travel quite far to find you know a lot of new stuff i mean you know new ant series but i think that's gonna be all fine i'm gonna have a quick look yeah, this should hopefully be more than enough rockets. If it isn't, I'm pretty screwed. But you know what? I think it should be good. So yeah. Okay, guys. So the nether has just loaded in. And um, this nether hub looks so much more um, impressive. If I just don't focus on this open part right here. But I do definitely need to continue on this. But I guess that's the thing. This is going to take ages. Because our end portal is um, quite a, like a thousand blocks away. So this is going to be expensive to continue. But I do want to, you know, continue soon. Okay, guys. So nether port, end portal. I mean it's right here oh okay nothing but you know what we don't really have much to care about so let's just jump in well I mean we have a lot to care about but yeah jeez you know I had into uh, head into the end and places like this and I realized I haven't been here in ages I mean we have our endman farm over here but I don't use it as often as I probably should so let's just head into this one again this one brought us good luck last time. Okay, so our adventure is starting. I'm not sure which way I went last time. I believe I went forward and right, like that way. So I think I'm just gonna start flying this way and pray I find something good. So anyways, let me just um, see if I can find any end series. Okay guys, so the fourth temple I believe is done, another lighter of course, more end rods, and then these two shulker shells, I'm not getting as many as I would like, because right now I can only make 20 shulker boxes, or 28, which is a decent amount, but I would like to have at least two stacks, because, I mean, being, being able to make, you know, a stack of shulker boxes would be pretty nice. <sighs> All right, so I need one more shulker. Please tell me I can find one more. I think, I think, I think I might just have one shulker. Um, oh, shulker. I might just have one shulker shell laying around in my base. I'm not sure about that, but I believe I do. Oh, well, I think I should be good down here. There we go. Did I get an extra one? Oh, I got two extra. So anyways, I guess that is all. Yeah, I mean, now we can make pretty much a stack and one shulker box plus... We have a decent amount of androids, elytras. We also got a few extra ender chests, which is quite nice. So anyways, let me just see if I can... Uh but yeah, let me just see if I can find a way back to the portal we found earlier, and yeah. Guys, so we are getting pretty close to the cords, and yes, here's the portal. Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen when I fly into it. Oh, I just spawned here. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Hopefully not die, there we go, and then just jump into here. So anyways... I failed. And there we go, so we are back in our base. It's uh, night time and it's been quite a damn while, but we got a decent amount of loot, so I might just put this up here for now. Uh, we got this including... Okay, I guess that's full. So we got all this loot plus six uh, dragon heads and six light trust. The rest of the light trust are my ender chest. We also got four stacks of androids, two stacks of shulk shells, which is pretty nice. A decent amount of, you know, gold and iron which is uh, honestly some pretty nice resources and we also obviously got uh, 10 extra ender chests which is pretty amazing for stuff you know like building but uh, I also uh, have just a few totems left so I'm gonna have to do a few more raids but I'm gonna do that off camera of course because that is not the boringest stuff but it's not something I really care to show so I'm gonna do that in a minute off camera but anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace out